Hi, and a very good day I bid to Dr. Yong Yi Ling. Our group will be presenting the topic Nutrient Recovery from Wastewater. Nutrient recovery is the process of recovering nutrients from water streams by discarding and converting them to chemical-free water filtration devices in order to remove excess nutrients which is phosphorus and nitrogen. This process helps clean the effluent by removing the nutrients and transform them into an efficient reusable feedstock. Next is the purpose of nutrient recovery, which is to be discarded and converted into an environmental friendly fertilizer to be used for ecological and agricultural purpose. There are two main characteristics of nutrient recovery, which is eutrophication and nutrient demand. Next, the process of nutrient recovery from wastewater. Microalgae is proven to be efficient in removing nitrogen, phosphorus, and toxic metals. This is because of the large amount of water used in agricultural municipal and industrial purpose, resulting in large volume generated. In the nutrient recovery process, mixture flow leaves the plant tank and enters the vertical pond system. The greenhouse structure will provide light source. The vertical plant system optimized biology collectivity in photosynthesis. The contaminated algae metabolize nitrogen, phosphorus, carbon dioxide and other unwanted contaminants in rapid division. Then, the dense algae culture takes over biologically, cleans the water and releases oxygen. The vertical plant system is self-cleaning and runs continuously with zero waste. There are a few factors that might affect the rate of nutrient recovery. The first one, instance initial nutrient concentration. It will affect on nutrient removal due to nitrogen and phosphorus ratio, limiting the nutrient in substrate medium. After water recovery is completed, excess waste activated algae will be harvested from the treatment process. This process reduces phosphorus by factors of 10 times and nitrogen at a factor of 3 times. Specific uptake rate of phosphorus increased with the initial concentration to maintain a constant value. Next is the light intensity. There is a relation between light and algae bacterial photobioreactors. Light is crucial for conversion of nitrogen and phosphorus, and this relationship is divided into three zones, which is light limitation zone, maximal photosynthesis and saturation zone, and lastly, the photoinhibition zone. And lastly, is the extracellular pH. Drastic changes in pH changes the solubility of ammonium, or phosphate that present in the substrate medium. So the pH value between 9 to 11, which is alkaline, is suitable for precipitation of phosphorus to occur. 